In a move that no one saw coming, China's C919 jet has just landed its most shocking buyer yet. As global aviation giants like Boeing and Airbus watch closely, this unexpected order could mark a major power shift in the skies. Who placed this game-changing order? And what does it mean for the future of global aviation? Let's break it down. Welcome to Jet Avaya, where the skies reveal their secrets. From airline mysteries to aircraft breakthroughs, this is your cockpit to the truth. For decades, the commercial skies have been largely ruled by just two names, Boeing and Airbus. But that long-standing dominance is now facing a serious challenge as China steps forward with its bold entry, the C919, developed by Comac. This aircraft is steadily positioning itself as a legitimate third player, gaining traction among international carriers. So how exactly is it rising to rival the aviation giants? And who could be the first to fly it outside China? Let's take a closer look. In the narrow-body, single-aisle aircraft market, one of the most important segments in aviation, Boeing and Airbus have long maintained near-total control. The Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 aren't just best sellers, they've become the workhorses of global short- and medium-haul travel. But now, China is challenging that near-monopoly. With the creation of the C919, the country is making more than an aircraft, it's making a statement. This isn't just a matter of innovation, it's a declaration of intent to take ownership of an industry long led by Western technology, engineering, and supply chains. The C919 project was entrusted to COMAC, the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, formed in 2008 with major state support. From the outset, the mission was clear. Reduce dependency on foreign-made jets, build a homegrown aviation icon, and slowly chip away at Boeing and Airbus's grip on the market. Though the design was revealed in the same year COMAC was established, it took until 2015 to roll out the first prototype. And from there, the road to readiness was long and difficult. Years of rigorous flight testing, design tweaks, and tough regulatory scrutiny followed. The aircraft had to prove it could meet the demanding requirements of real-world airline operations. But after nearly a decade, the milestone finally arrived. On September 29, 2022, the C919 was granted type certification by China's Civil Aviation Authority. Just three months later, China Eastern Airlines received the first aircraft, officially marking the start of its commercial journey. While the C919 still faces major barriers in reaching global markets, its entry into service sent a clear signal. The Boeing Airbus duopoly now has a challenger. So what gives the C919 the edge to take on such deeply entrenched competition? Thanks for sticking around. If you're enjoying this deep dive, make sure to subscribe and share with fellow aviation enthusiasts. Now let's get into the specs. At first glance, the C919 may not look revolutionary. It carries between 150 and 168 passengers and has a maximum range of 5,555 kilometers. Well suited for high demand domestic and regional routes, especially in Asia where growth is explosive. But beneath those specs is a strategy built for market disruption. It includes advanced aerodynamics, fly-by-wire controls, and a digital cockpit with large LCD displays. Although key systems still rely on Western suppliers like GE and Honeywell, the aircraft is positioned as a cost-efficient option both to buy and to operate. And with the rising financial pressures airlines face, the timing couldn't be better. Yet the real story isn't just the jet, it's what China is building around it. The C919 is part of a much larger industrial mission to create an entirely domestic aerospace supply chain. COMAC's goal is to capture at least a third of China's narrow-body market and eventually expand globally. With over 1,000 orders mainly from local carriers and leasing companies, it's well on its way to full-scale production. But the most surprising twist came when foreign buyers started showing interest. 
you expected anyone outside China to gamble on the C919 in its first generation. Then came Gallup Air. But, a startup based in Brunei, signing a letter of intent to purchase up to 30 aircraft, 15C, 919S, and 15AR, J21S, now rebranded as the C99. It marked the first international order and hinted at COMAC's global ambitions. Interest didn't stop there. Brazilian airline Total Linhas Arias, which operates cargo and charter flights, has shown serious interest in using the C919 under ACMI lease arrangements. Even more shocking was the news that several Western carriers had begun discreet talks with COMAC, something that seemed unimaginable just a year ago. Ryanair CEO Michael O'Leary, one of Europe's most influential airline executives, has publicly voiced interest in the C919 on one simple condition. Comac must offer a better deal than Boeing or Airbus. What was once dismissed as fantasy now seems entirely possible. Timing, it turns out, might be Comac's biggest asset. As Boeing and Airbus struggle with production delays, shortages, and regulatory bottlenecks, Comac is seizing the moment. While Airbus falls behind on its A320neo targets, and Boeing continues to reel from the 737 MAX crisis, airlines are desperate. With waiting lists stretching years into the future, many have no choice but to look elsewhere. The C999 free of massive backlogs and backed by the Chinese state, offers faster delivery, flexible terms and pricing up to 30% cheaper. But Comac isn't just slashing prices, it's also building an entire support ecosystem. Leasing options, low interest financing, full service maintenance, and operational assistance, all supported by China's state-owned banks and institutions. For budget carriers facing mounting costs, the C919 represents a more accessible and lower risk alternative. And then there's geopolitics. China's expanding relationships in the Middle East are no longer just about energy and ports. They now include aerospace. Gulf countries looking to diversify and strengthen ties with Beijing see the C919 as more than a plane. It's a symbol of aligned investment and strategic intent. For these nations, buying Chinese isn't just economical, it's political. All of this is converging into a moment of global change. After decades of a rigid two-player system, a third competitor is now knocking at the door. One that is bold, disruptive, and impossible to ignore. Still, building the aircraft is only the first step. The hardest part remains, earning the world's trust. And this may be Comac's biggest hurdle yet. Despite its symbolic success, the C919 lacks certification from the FAA and EASA, the most respected aviation regulators in the world. Without those endorsements, the aircraft is effectively locked out of most international airspace. Securing those certifications isn't just about passing paperwork. It requires exhaustive testing, tens of thousands of hours of simulations, stress trials and system validations. It demands not only technical excellence, but transparency and credibility. Boeing and Airbus built that trust over decades. Comac, by contrast, is still new and its association with a government, often viewed skeptically by the West, only makes the challenge harder. And certification isn't the final destination. Airlines require infrastructure, parts availability, certified maintenance centers, trained staff, and rapid responses support teams. Right now, COMAC's global support network is still underdeveloped. Without it, even the most affordable aircraft is a risky bet. In aviation, reliability isn't optional. It's everything. A missing part or delayed tech team can ground a plane and cost airlines millions. So while the C919 has made headlines and gained momentum, it still needs to prove itself in the world's toughest markets. To truly compete, Comac must build not only an aircraft but a global ecosystem of confidence, service, and scale.